Okay guys, continuing on from the recording earlier, this is the normal mode of the map. Anyway, so I listened to the recording earlier and it actually sounds really good, which is pretty nice. So yeah. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm a little gassy today so I might burp in some of the videos. Excuse me. Because uh, my acid reflux, I'm having acid reflux, and I don't know what to call it. Was that in the dirt? How do you pronounce that? Anyway, uh, so yeah, I'm quite happy with this game. I mean, I think I tried playing Rusty Hearts before. I mean, uh, there's a lot of games that I pick up for like five minutes and drop it off because it uh, didn't interest me much. And uh, Rusty Hearts was one of it because uh, I think the characters were cool during the time, you know, that's what, like, what, five years ago? Now, this game it came out uh, 2013 or 14 or 3, yeah. I saw it, wanted to play it, but it wasn't available in English. So what I did was I just put it off. Yeah. Now since there's a team that took it out like from based on the Indonesian server and they made like a English translation translated version of it. And they brought it to NA. Well, uh, I don't really get lag here. Even when my connection is shit, I don't really lag. Probably because it's it's hardly server based. I don't know, I'm not familiar with uh, stuff like these, so part of my. part of my lack of knowledge. So, yeah. Because, uh. when G. Still alive. When G's uh, MPT posted, he said that a lot of MMOs nowadays are becoming more and more. More and more uh, offline based, but I'm like, how, how is it offline? So I think he's pertaining to games becoming half and half, like you can play offline and online. But this kind of feels like an offline game if you don't play with anyone, especially since you're just playing it by yourself. I mean, I'm playing it by myself like a normal game. Offline game at least. And I actually spent more time in towns upgrading my gear and stuff, looking for decent gear, for crafting and shit, rather than actually playing the game. Because the dungeons you can finish like 5, 6, 7 minutes tops. And you know, I'll have issues with it. Like crafting, you gotta look for items in the black market. That's what it's called. It's called black market. Ah shit, I used my vitamin combo on that. It's a giant. So, I was looking at the videos on YouTube, and most people that play this, I mean, there's hardly any, any information about Jay, his character. Uh, well, I've seen YouTube PvPs and such, but for skill builds and shit. Crap. Skill builds are just one Indo post uh, wherein this guy says uh, what you should max. What oh god, I was gonna use this. So, yeah, he's like, you should max this and that for J and my. Uh, not really sure, I mean, even for the passive, so yeah, I just followed the my gut feeling. I maxed what I can and what I think is good for PvP. Like, like this thing, I want to max it, and this one I'm planning on maxing it. This one, not so much because it's a grab. This is a grab. These are like combo starters. This would be nice to max if the damage was higher, but. This thing has high damage. 
And these are the ultimates, these three. Uh, this is an ultimate, it's just that it's a buff ultimate. It does damage, but uh, it's, it's it's hard to hit. And, you know, it's hard to PvP. Ah, I might try PvPing in a bit. Given that connection is good and FPS is good, we'll catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.